Today I'd like to talk to you about why we should be Jewish. Now, in on one hand, um, existentially we have no choice. Uh, someone born of a Jewish mother or someone who converts to Judaism, uh, they're Jewish, right? Although there's a saying today that all Jews are Jews by choice. Uh, no one's going to point a finger at you if you choose not to uh, do so many Jewish things or have so many Jewish beliefs. Um, one can be Jewish in one's heart and not outwardly. It's also possible to be outwardly Jewish and not so Jewish in one's heart. There are many, many different possibilities. But I think that what defines the essence of being a Jew, from my rabbinic perspective, is having a strong God connection. This is what it means to be uh, a Jew, in my view. This is what it means to be part of the chosen people. Uh, this is what it means to be a son or daughter of Abraham and Sarah. And that is that we have a, a God connection, which we culture throughout our life. And hopefully, um, we make use of the toolbox that has been given to us by our tradition in order to do this. Now, most people look at the mitzvot, the 613 mitzvot, we call them, and they say, oi, what a burden. I don't want to get involved with it. Uh, my life is complicated enough as it is. And uh, no doubt, uh, life is very complicated these days. However, how much simpler could life be if we took the 613 commandments and said six plus one plus three is 10? Because really, uh, the 10 commandments are the chapter headings, if you will, of the 613 commandments. And um, there's so many important guidelines for life included in the Ten Commandments. Many basic things which many of us uh, observe really as part of our, our upbringing, whether we're secular Jews, whether we're uh, non-believing Jews, whether we're believing Jews, uh, they're part of uh, Western civilization. However, one of the, six, one of the Ten Commandments, rather, is the uh, commandment to observe Shabbat. Uh, there's a saying, I think I might have even brought this up last time, that more than the Jews have kept Shabbat, Shabbat has kept the Jews. It's an essential experience that uh, we all deserve to be able to stop, to stop the onrush of activity that I think makes us all victims to one extent or another. Intense boundaries of time and space, uh, intense deadlines, and I use that word um, with special emphasis because we have deadlines in our lives and we uh, actually think that if we don't get something done on time, uh, we're going to be dead and <laughs> we're going to lose our jobs or whatever and then, then we'll be finished as, as, as individuals. And this is such a, a wrong way to be at least 100% of the time. Judaism counsels that we should take one seventh of every week and cease and desist from the mad rush of activity. Now, there was a wonderful uh, teacher, the Svata Met, who um, brought this teaching down uh, to a very, very fine degree. He said not only one-seventh of every week, ideally one-seventh of every day. And ideally, not even one-seventh of every day, which I think he was referring to davening, one-seventh of every day, um, but one-seventh of every hour one should be in that Shabbat mode. And not even one-seventh of every hour, but one-seventh of every minute. And then he took it even further and he said, and ultimately, one should be in Shabbat mode one-seventh of every second, which is to say, uh, ideally, never out of that state of, of restful alertness, which is the basis of successful living in this world, where one isn't overshadowed, one isn't victimized by one's activity. One can engage in the responsibilities of life uh, without being crushed by them. Something like a submarine that is able to generate as much pressure from the inside out as the ocean is exerting on it from the outside in. Uh, this is what Shabbat in particular helps us to accomplish in this world. It's a very practical spiritual teaching, particularly in these hectic modern times. And so I would invite you to participate in um, Shabbatot, wherever they're held, wherever you may be, uh, but particularly here in Winnipeg, particularly here at Sharit Tzedek. It is a spiritual resource which is woefully underused and which is available to each and every one of you. 
every Shabbat. And it doesn't have to be for three hours, it can be for two hours, it can be for one hour, it can be for Kiddush, <laughs> whatever you would like, we're, we're available to you. And so um, we'll see you hopefully uh, at Shabbat soon at Sharet Tzedek. And um, please feel free to uh, talk to me if I don't uh, come up to you. If uh, the mountain will not come to Muhammad, then Muhammad will come to the mountain and uh, we should make a connection. So uh, wishing you a Shabbat Shalom in advance. Mm -hmm.